Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Trisha Sittermary from Texas. Hi Trisha, how are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for being here. So Trisha, she works with frustrated professionals to find career directions through actionable, customized plans and resources to navigate their career forward. So Trisha, my first question for you is, before even starting job search, do you think that identifying who you are, what are your values is important and how can job seekers do that? Absolutely, very good question and very important. It's a mm -hmm. very important piece of transitioning or beginning a job search for a couple of different reasons. Mm -hmm. If you don't have clear direction on where it is that you'd like to go, especially if you're wanting to make a change from where you currently are, then it's harder for you to kind of map out what that plan mm -hmm. looks like. So anytime someone comes to me and they're like, I need something new or I've recently been laid off, what are my first steps? It's important to be able to kind of have those internal conversations and think about what is it that I want? What do I value from a professional or work environment? Yeah. Um, where are maybe some areas that I want to grow? Maybe where are some transferable skills that I yeah. haven't been using that I want to now start using? Mm -hmm. um, what does you know work-life balance look like? Is there a particular industry that you're interested in now exploring? Mm -hmm. Asking yourself those questions and spending a little bit of time in that career exploration space yeah. is so crucial because if you don't think about those things, you start having the conversations and going through the interview process, yes. which we all know can vary and be, you know, have its own bag of challenges yeah. in itself. Yeah. Then you get into the role and you're like, ah, oh, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, this is not it. And then you're back at square one. You've mm -hmm. lost time. You've lost momentum. If you are, you know, getting into those interviews by the help and support of your network, you've now tapped on your network and you've landed in a space that you don't really want to be in. So um, being able to be crisp and clear in what direction you want to go in is going to be important one yeah. from a time and efficiency standpoint Two, so if you're you know networking or telling people hey mm -hmm. this is what i want to get into you can give them clear direction yeah. so that they can take that information and then plant the seeds to mm -hmm. also help you kind of move move the needle forward so yeah. super key and you can do that you know by journaling you can do that by utilizing a career coach you can do that by taking different types of career assessments personality yeah. assessments yeah to get all of these different data points yeah. to help you make an informed and confident decision for yeah. yourself. And I tell my clients, you know, once you, can, once you identify those values, you can use them on your LinkedIn, you can use them in your cover letter or even in your bio, like I want to work in company that has uh, similar values like mine. But yeah. still, I get some clients or new immigrants or international students, I need a job now. I don't care. I can do anything. How do you help those or what tips you have for those kind of people? Yeah, you know, and that I get it. Bills have to be paid. Yeah. Money needs to be coming in. Yes. And if you do find yourself in that position where you're like, I just need to find something, something and yeah. you find something and you're like, this is where I am try to make the most of that situation. Mm. You know, not everybody starts their career in their dream job, yes. but I know that everyone can think back to a position where they maybe learned a new skill or mm -hmm. maybe have a really great connection that they've been able to tap on later on. Yeah. Um, so kind of thinking about it from that perspective of this isn't where I want to be right now. What can I take? What can I learn? What, you know, outside of the box thinking can I have in this time period right now that I can put in my career toolkit or in my yeah. back pocket that could be useful later. The other That's thing it. about, you know, being in a job, even if it's one that you're not necessarily in love with, yeah. is yeah. it's a little easier to find something while you have something right. because yeah. you're not going to have that stress of, I don't have anything coming in. Or like mm -hmm. you mentioned specifically for like immigrants who may be here on some kind of work visa, 
you need to be working. So it's fine, you know, Mm -hmm. continue working, doing what you need to do to take care of yourself. But also during that time, be thinking about how can I take the situation that I'm in now and apply it to the more ideal situation for myself and then put put together a plan of action for yourself Mm -hmm. that way. As you mentioned, when I came 10 years ago to Canada, my first job was I work in a warehouse, but I needed that Canadian experience. I needed that transferable skin. And as you mentioned, it wasn't my ideal job, but I needed that money to come. So while I was working afterwards, when I come home, I started networking, building relationship, but the money was coming and it was a little bit less stressful. And I think that really helped. And as you mentioned, those transferable skills, networking, you know, referrals are very important uh, when you're transitioning to, from job or from country to country. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, you could be in a, in a job, in a role that is not, you know, the most exciting for you, but as you learn and connect with other people within the organization, you may uncover other opportunities that are a better fit yeah. or, you know, more in line with where you would like to overall go. Yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Trisha. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Trisha a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us for the whole week. You can like, comment and share. So tune in next time for another great question with Trisha.